Android is not limited to mobile devices. Best of all, Cyanogen Mod 13. This tutorial is a quick guide to install it in your PC. <laughs> Greetings YouTube homies. I have selected the most stable version of the Cyanogen Mod on PC to work with today. You only need two things for this latest version of the virtual box and the 64-bit release of the cyanogen mod 13 iso file both those links are in the description download and install the virtual box keep the copy of the downloaded iso in that format open up the virtual box to get started first we have to create a new virtual machine for the type select linux and for the version select other linux 64-bit name it as you like you should at least give this 2 gigabytes of memory. Create a new virtual drive. Select VDI. Give it a fixed size. It's much faster to work. I will give it a storage of 8 gigabytes. You can give it more if you want. Then let's create this. Alright, now go to Virtual Machine Settings. I'm going to change the number of cores it's gonna use to 4, you can keep it in 1, but better to give it more juice. Make sure these other settings are similar as mine. Increase your video memory to 128MB. Go to Storage and select the empty virtual drive. Now load the downloaded CyanEngine Mod ISO to it. Hit OK and start the virtual machine. You have to use the keyboard from here on. Use arrow keys and enter key to select installation. Select the option. Create or modify partitions. Select no to GPT. <laughs> select new and hit enter. Select primary. Hit enter again. Now hit enter again for the already selected bootable option. Then select right and press enter again. Use left arrow key to select right. You have to type the word yes here and press enter. Wait for it to complete that process. Now select quit. Use left or right arrow key to select it. Ok now go with the already selected option. Select txt4 for the file system. Select yes and hit enter. Yes again. Again. Wait for it to finish installing. Now this is important here, go to Devices and Optical Drives, now unmount the ISO from there. It won't let you, but force it. Alright now hit reboot. There you go, you have the functioning bootloader. Select the first one and proceed. Remember to go to input options and disable mouse integration, else the mouse will go totally nuts. Voila, Cyanogen mod on PC. Alright now let's proceed with the Android setup wizard. Select your language and next. Skip this one. Let's skip the login too. Skip the Wi-Fi. Wait. What? Is it looping? Oh dear god why? Ok guys, it turns out that logging in is mandatory, use your gmail address or create one and log in, then we'll have this beautiful view. Alright folks, that's it, we got a very stable, zero lagging android distribution in our PC, 
Remember this is the 64 bits version. You also can use the 32 bit version. It's a bit more stable than the 64 bits version, but slower. I'll link that in the description too. Alright, that's it for this video people. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment. You can ask for more tutorials and questions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more cool videos like this. Subscribers can enter future giveaways on Tech Tac 2. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Tech Tac, out.